unfamiliar and all but deserted are the streets of central London and most other big cities in the early morning. It's a parking paradise. Mr. Worthington, still a few miles out of town, congratulates himself on deciding to come up by road and show off his beautiful new car. How he's endured stuffy trains all this time, he can't imagine. But meanwhile, the city's changed a little. The official parking places are full already. Turn left, and what then? Can't go this way, can't go that, can't go forward, can't go back. Owners of most of the half million cars in the London area, for example, are wishing they'd left the things at home. As for the big garages that hold hundreds of cars, they seem to fill up in no time. Mr. Worthington's wondering if it was a good idea to come up by road. That's what I wish you got there, Governor. Yes, I got yesterday. I shouldn't have walled into town if it had been mine. Who do you think you are, Sterling Moss? Yes! Tough luck, Governor. See what I mean? When he does get near the office, he has beginner's luck. A parking place quite near. Very handy when he has to visit a client later on. But the poor motorist can't do right, even if they park outside a school. There is a case against parking here. So parents and others make a protest. And well they may, with 400,000 new cars coming onto the roads every year. Against parking in dangerous places, or for too long, the police are taking drastic action. Evidently, they've got all day to find the right key. So that's one out of the way to be temporarily impounded. Well, that's cleared a nice little space, hasn't it? But you know, some of these fellows have got all the cheek in the world. If the key method fails, the police have another string to their bow. They tow cars away. The parking laws are not to be trifled with. But the motorist positions rapidly becoming totally chaotic because new cars are pouring out of the factories and there's no more space available. We think we know the solution, the path A plan. But more of that in a minute. Constable Brightboy is getting a harvest of numbers. He practiced on railway engines as a lad. Well, bless me, here's Mr. Worthington again. What's his trouble? Well, I left my car here a couple of hours ago, and now it's gone. I think it must have been stolen. Oh, I don't think it's been stolen, sir. Uh, was it a green sunbeam rape in number VRW 508? Yes, that's right. Oh, it hasn't been stolen. It's been taken away by us. Oh, thank goodness for that. Where is it? Kentish Town Police Station, sir. Kentish Town Police Station? Well, that's about eight miles from here. Now, what is our solution, the Pathé plan we mentioned? Simply, the traffic squeeze. There's one snag. People will have to squeeze too. Mr. Worthington's mother measures 46 round the marble arch. 